Welcome back my friends. Today I'm on Windows 8.1 and I'm looking at the built-in option speech recognition by Windows. This will do your speech to text. Now I don't know how good it is, I haven't used it since Windows 7. So I've got myself a cheap headset that I use for Dragon which works pretty well and I'm going to use that. So the first thing we need to do is actually go to your control panel or if you select the Windows key on your keyboard select Q and you can type it in there. So I'm just going to type Windows and you can see the second option down is Windows speech recognition. Or if you go to the bottom left hand corner, put the cursor and do a right click on the mouse and select control panel left click there. And if you scroll down you've got your speech recognition option there which I'm going to open from there. Before we start, go to advanced speech options in the speech recognition window. And you can see at the top here this is English UK and obviously that will be different what country you're from. Also we've got default speech profile which is set up automatically, your default one. We can actually train that profile and improve it by reading text. We can select run speech recognition at startup so the program will automatically start every time Windows starts. You can choose review documents and mail to improve accuracy. If you click privacy statement make sure you read that to make sure if you're happy with that or not. Enable voice activation and number of spaces to insert after punctuation. You might select two spaces after punctuation, but I'm just going to leave the one. At the bottom here, we've got audio input, advanced, and configure microphone. Configure microphone will configure which microphone you're using, being headset, desktop microphone, or even internal microphone on a laptop. If you select audio input and select recordings at the top, you can see where your mic is there. And there's my headset, Logitech USB headset. Now, this is only a cheap headset, I've got a feedback for £11. So I'm going to see how well that works. Click OK. Now I'm going to close that window by clicking OK. I'm going to come back to here to set up the microphone from here. So left click set up microphone. Choose which microphone you're using. I do prefer a headset microphone because it has a noise cancel option on the mic and that just improves the accuracy of your dictation. Now I'm going to click next in a minute. I'm going to have to read a quick sentence to see if it's picking up the headset fine. Open quote. Peter dictates to his computer full stop. He prefers it to type in comma and particularly prefers it to pen and paper full stop close quote. And I'll click next and its microphone is ready to use so it's picked up fine. If it doesn't pick up just go back and read into it again and just check your headset. Click finish. So that's the first option. Second option I would do first off was go to train your computer to better understand you. You have to read some text so then it will analyse your voice and hopefully improve the accuracy. So I'm going to do that now but I'm not going to go through the whole lot. Obviously I'll skip out so I'll show you the first couple of sentences and go straight to the end and then we can look at the dictation. Click next. The computer is learning the sound of my voice as I speak. This will help the computer better recognise what I say. Speech recognition can recognise many speakers very accurately, but training the computer will provide an even better experience. And that's now finished. If you want, you can do more training. The training reading lasts for about six minutes if you want. So I'm going to click cancel. So let's set up my microphone. If you click take speech tutorial, it'll give you a quick tutorial on how to use speech recognition by clicking play here. Also, if you scroll down, you've got various videos there plus you've got linear text formats for example if I click on dictation it shows you what to do so I'm going to close that before I close that remember you can train more by clicking that and read some more text to improve the accuracy if you need to as well and again if you want to do more training follow that so I'm going to close that window and we're going to give it a go we can start speech recognition Windows Q type Windows and click on it or go down to the left hand side, go to control panel, scroll down and select speech recognition. So now I'm going to select start speech recognition and give it a go. You can see the toolbar at the top there. I'm going to close that window and it's in sleep mode. So in a minute I'm going to wake that up by using the command start listening. Once I've done that I'm going to go to start menu and see if I can navigate within my apps and open up for example WordPad or Microsoft Word and then I'll try a bit of dictation and we'll see how accurate that is. So let's start with the first command. Start listening. Start Apps 
scroll right, scroll right, scroll left, show numbers, 48, OK, OK, blank document, stop listening. So as you could see there, I said show numbers, so it numbers all your application and programs. So have a look what you want to do first, which program you want to open, and say show numbers, then say that number, and it gives, then say say OK to select that. Quick way of doing it. I think there's another way of doing it, I'll show you that now. Start listening. Start. Apps. Search. Word. Start, Apps, Search, WordPad, WordPad, Stop Listening. So there's two ways quickly to navigate, so you can use the search option as well. So I'm going to start dictating into WordPad first, then I'm going to go to Microsoft Word, and we'll see how good that is. Start Listening. I am now going to do a test to see how accurate this is. Full stop. Switch to Word. I am now going to do a test to see if this is any good. Full stop. New line. Switch to WordPad. New paragraph. Select Going underline. Select how accurate. Bold. Delete test. Undo that. Select all. Delete that. Quit WordPad. Close. Don't save. Bullets. Two. OK. New line. Numbering. 2. OK. New line. Increase indent. Decrease indent. Font. Cancel. Font size. 24. I'm now going to do a test to see I am now going to do a test to see if this is any good new line exclamation mark question mark comma and sign ampersand at sign smiley face new line select going to do one ok one ok bold unselect stop listening it's not too bad there's a few errors let me show you how to correct something if it's wrong as well Start listening. Comma. Let's see if it gets my name right, Henry. Stop listening. My name right, Henry. So we can see that's wrong. It's got Henry right. So I'm going to correct my name right. So that's what's wrong. So you need to say correct and say correct my main right. Now you want to correct more than one word. So let's try that out. Start listening. Correct my main rights. Four. OK. Correct my main rights. Spell it. M Y space 
N A M E space Romeo I G H Tango eleven G H eleven G H okay stop listening so I've just corrected it let's see if it makes any difference I'm going to repeat that last bit of the sentence again start listening new line let's try again let's see if it gets my name right Henry stop listening well it hasn't picked up very accurate maybe I need to read into it more just wanted to show you that because I've only corrected it once and it still hasn't picked that up let me try that again start listening select all delete it was on a Saturday I decided to go down to the shops correct Saturday at decides spell it S A T U R D A Y 6 Delta 9 space I 10 capital I space Delta Echo Charlie Indigo 16 Delta Echo Delta OK Stop listening It was on a Saturday I decided to go down to the shops I think you might have to correct this quite a few times to get the accuracy but I think if you work on it it could be pretty good Don't forget all your commands Go to your control panel Find speech recognition it's probably been worth you printing these all off I'd say take speech tutorial and if you scroll down you've got all your commands here from controlling PC to dictation including go to the start of the document also really useful if you don't know all your punctuation to say it you've got punctuation marks and special characters that you can use there as well I'd probably give that 7 out of 10 but I haven't really trained it. I read that thing earlier once. It's probably worth reading a few times to see if that will improve it. But say get on with that. Last thing on that quickly. I want to show you. Why not use the built in speech to text option as well. That way you can dictate using speech recognition and have it read back using the built in narrator. To do that click the Windows key down on your keyboard and select enter key. And that will start narrator. Now to read back hold caps locks down and select H. It was on a Saturday I decided to go down to the shop. And there you go. Hope that helps. Let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching.